Everybody. All right. Happy Saturday. We Happy did it. Saturday. We're on. Look, guys, people are on. Hey, Monique in Hawaii. Teresa in Prague. Yes. Hey, can you guys say hi to Daddy and Auntie Vivian and Uncle hi. Keith? Hi. In this camera, hi, this Daddy. camera. Hi. This camera. Uncle Keith. <laughs> Uncle Keith. Keith, this camera, this camera. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, Daddy. Hi, okay, Daddy. come here. Okay, 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 okay. It's a very exciting day today um, because Daddy is gone. So thankfully we have our good friend Auntie Elise who's helping us. We'll see how this live workout goes without Daddy. Okay, anyway, today, okay, okay. Today we are doing a full body dumbbell 35 minute strength and conditioning. <laughs> hey, Kayla, hey, Tammy, hey, Denise. <laughs> Denise says, oh no, the toddlers are waking up. Yes, Emily and Ryan are here. Mel, yay, Laura. Oh, look, Kai, Di Kai, Daddy says, hi, buddy. Hi, yay. Daddy. Uh, also, I think, I think Uncle Bubba and Auntie Kathy and Nora are watching, so say hi. hi. Say hi, Nora. Hi, Nora. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get started in just a second. Always crazy over here, but especially when we have a friend over, right? <laughs> All right, guys, so make sure you have your dumbbells, your water. We're going to get started in just a second. Hey, Wendy, you were gardening too. Just like, okay, okay, okay. All right. All right, kids, let's say bye. Can you, oh, okay, okay. Let's say bye. Say have a good workout, everybody. Okay, go to the ceiling. Okay, stop it. Oh my goodness, five-year-olds. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's go watch TV, guys. Okay, they can't even be bribed with TV. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay, okay you're good. Woo! All right, team. <laughs> hey, Emily. Awesome. Oh, are we live? Are we live? Can you see me? Let me know if you can hear me. I think you guys can. I think we're good. I think we're good. Thank you. Oh, Charlotte says, hi, Amy and kids. Okay, guys, let me know. Everybody can hear me. You can see me again. Kurt is gone. <laughs> he had a family commitment. He had to go out of town. And so we're kind of doing this on our own. Thankfully, I have, uh, I have a friend to help me. Um, but <laughs> hopefully it all goes smoothly. Um, all right, yay. Shannon is here. Yay, I'm seeing so many people from my Body Fit Athletic Club. I love it. So you guys know the drill if you've been here before. If you haven't, we're going to do 35 minutes of a full body workout. Today is dumbbell strength and conditioning. Oh, good. Yay. Thank you, Stephanie. And Thomas is here. Woo. Yay. All right, guys. Patty, Laura, everybody's here. Good, good, good. All right. Thank you for letting me know. It says it's going, but again, because I don't have my producer here helping me. Um, okay, so full body, we'll get it all done in 35 minutes. Afterwards, as usual, I'm gonna grab my computer and use my screen here and I will take any questions you guys might have. We'll chat for a few minutes, I'll say hi, um, and it'll be a good time. So let me get everything set up here. You guys make sure you have some space to move. I'm gonna start our timer. And here we go. All right, guys. So let me get back in. Don't worry. I didn't go anywhere. I'm right here. <laughs> All right. So if you have a couple sets of dumbbells, keep them close by. If you need to alternate, if you only have kettlebells, if you don't have any weights, just use what you've got. Let's go ahead and let's start just with a little march. Whoo. <laughs> Bethany says, I love the realness with the kids. You are not alone. Excited for this workout. Whew, I'm glad you guys appreciate the realness because <laughs> it is a lot. So, all right, guys, whoo, roll them through to the back and to the front. Aslan is here for your very first live. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Open up those arms. Let's add a little side lunge to it. Here we go. And really open up through the chest. We all get pretty tight through there. Good, good. And then let's swing those arms up and down. Little hinge here. And breathe. Stretch through your back. And then let's take it out wide. Flat back down. 
and round it up. Take it flat. Good. Two more just like that. Last one. And let's hold it here. Roll through those shoulders. So strength and conditioning. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be exactly like it sounds, right? We're going to get strength. Walk it in. Round it up. We're going to get cardio for conditioning. So we'll be getting strong and getting our hearts pumping. Let's keep reaching across. We'll take it over your head. <laughs> Megan says that was the most relatable content I've seen on the internet in a while, right? Crazy kids running around. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh man, hamstrings up to the back. All right, so we are gonna have some strength intervals paired with a conditioning interval. So as always, everything will have options. So you work to your level, you be where you are today. You are successful just by showing up here today, right? So all we, the main goal is to move our bodies in a safe and effective way. Stay safe, keep moving, but do it in a way that works for you. I want you to feel challenged. I want you to push yourself, but in a way that is good for you because we are all on our own journeys, right? Big stretch. So we'll have a strength interval paired with a conditioning interval. 40 seconds of each, 20 seconds in between. And there are a little bit of supersets where it'll be the uh, conditioning interval will complement either the lower body, the upper body, or the core. So that's how it goes. Lower body, strength and conditioning, upper body, strength and conditioning, core. And then we'll grab some water and we'll do it all again, right? With something different. So no repeat workout, so get excited. I know I don't always say that uh, before, but we're gonna get no repeat. We're just gonna try to get through it quickly. It's gonna move quickly. Your heart rate should stay up. If you need breaks, take breaks. We'll take them in between the circuits. But again, you be where you are today. All right, so go ahead and grab your dumbbells. You can have one or two. I'm just gonna go with one. We're gonna start with a moving squat, so a goblet squat. Use whatever space you have. We're gonna step it to the side and bring it up, step it to the side. I'm gonna give you the option to take it two or one, depending on your space. Go ahead, zip up that core, hold that weight, ready, here we go. So, goblet squat, step and up, drop it down. Step and up, we got 40 seconds, staying low. If you don't want to travel with it, it's fine to keep just your regular goblet squat. That works too. Just make sure either way that you're low on the step, then you come up in between, right? Low on the step, up in between. If you want to, you can take a double step. If you got the space, take it down step. Five seconds, three, two, one and relax. All right, weight down. So it's gonna be a lot of picking our weights up and down, so make sure you bend those knees to do it, that we're not pulling in that back. And we've got a little long jump, guys. Jump it if you can, shuffle it back. If you need to step it, step it. Ready, here we go, 40 seconds. So again, whatever space you have, low impact, you do a wide step and you walk it back, right? So big step. Get low, quick feet back, whatever works for you. If you only have a little bit of space, you can also just do a squat jump and a quick feet, right? If you don't have that space, I know a lot of us are working out in our garages, like me, or in a small living room space, whatever you got, work with the space you have. Whoo, guys, I'm already feeling it. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, relax, good. All right, so we're gonna take it to a row. So two dumbbells, grab some heavies if you got them. If you can, we're gonna take it to a plank. If you need to keep it upright, you can do that as well. But I would love for us to be here. Zip up in the core, join me here. Here we go, one and then the other. The other option, guys, is to stay on your knees, stay zipped, bring it up bring it up so standing row 
quadruped on your knees or all the way up to keep that core working, right? So you're lifted, not letting it drop down, not coming up one and then the other. If that bothers your hands, just take your hands on either side. And again, your goal is to keep those hips square so we're not twisting. Breathe, three, two, one, and relax. Weights out of the way, little upper body conditioning. We're gonna do four jacks. Low impact is here. And then we've got really eight, but we're gonna call it four jabs. Four, three, two, one. Join me here, 40 seconds. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Or low impact, two, one, four, three, two. Keep it going, so four jacks, four jabs, whatever works for you. On those jabs, really think about the back working because that's our superset, right? Through here, four, three, two, one. Keep it going, Hup. yes. Four, three, two, let's get one more. We're going a little bit over, but you can do it. Jabs, four, three, two, breathe. All right, guys, take it down. Almost done with this circuit. On your side, we're gonna do a little pullover with that weight if that feels okay for you. Modification is a little bridge. Prenatal, postnatal, DR stay there. Otherwise, pullover, take it out. So almost like a little dead bug. If that weight feels like too much, drop the weight and just do the arms, right? Reach. Either way, you can bring it up and push it out or bring everything in. Take it back, bring it in. Think about closing the core, hips together, ribs together, navel to spine, and use that weight to get a little stretch. So we're getting upper back. Whew. I think it makes more sense maybe to be here. Three, two, one, relax. All right, guys, lateral mountain climber. It's a new one, you're gonna like it. So think of it like that bear plank. Modification, I want you to keep one knee down, tap out to the side, tap out to the side. Everybody else, zip it up, bring it up. We're here, 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 here. Mod, you're just down. Join me, here we go. Out and out, lateral mountain climber. So you're staying in that bear plank and you're jumping out to the side. So it would be kind of like this, this, right? Keep lifted so we keep the core going, but nice light jump, light on those feet, right? 10 seconds. Little bit of a stretch, right? So it's kind of one of our cardio mobility. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. You made it through a circuit, guys, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Grab a sip of water. So it's gonna move really fast like that. Back to back, a strength and a cardio and a conditioning. That's why we have a little bit longer interval time with that 20 seconds. Grab some water. If you wanna keep moving, you can take it to those jacks and jabs, four and four, while I talk you through our next round. If you'd rather just breathe and take a break, breathe and take a break. But you can be here, four, three, two, one. Take it, four, three, two. You keep going, watch me. We got our heavy weights. We're going into a side lunge, we're gonna alternate. Your goal is to get deep, to shift that weight, press through. I really want you to hang out for a second so you can really get the leg working. Then we're gonna take it to a little squat tap down. Twist, squat depth, twist. Modification, you're just turning full body, right? Not as much twist and you're not jumping. Then we'll take it with a little bicep curl to the cross and some uppercuts. Go ahead and grab your weights, catch your breath, ready. Here we go, side lunge to the side, push up, here we go. Drop it down and low. Again, your goal it's not how wide you can get with it. In fact, 
I'd rather you keep it a little closer and be able to get a little lower. Think of it like that squat motion, even lower if you can. Weights come on either side. Push out of the hip, yes. Good, push out of the hip, there we go. And up, drop it low, push up. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Bend your knees to drop those weights down. And we're gonna squat it down. You can tap it out or you can jump it out. When you come up, twist, twist. If you shouldn't be twisting that much, pregnancy, postpartum, I want you just to turn your body and back. Here we go. Down, twist, twist. Twist, twist. So on that twist, your arms go one way, your knees go the other. So we really get that torso. Don't worry too much about it. I'd rather you keep going quick. And up. Low impact, step. Low impact, step. Keep it going. Twist, twist. Little dance move, right? To get the core awake and working. Twist, twist. Yes. Last one. Yes, good. Relax. All right, guys. Cross bicep curl. So grab your heavies if you got it. We're crossing. You're coming towards the shoulder and back. Towards the shoulder and back. If that feels like too much, you can always take it to a regular curl. If you have a kettlebell, just one in between the two. Here we go. Take it across and down. Use this time to catch your breath. I know it's a lot, right? Every other move, true hit workout, or really getting that heart rate up. So use these strength intervals to let your heart rate come down. I feel it too. Whoo! Breathe. Yes. Again, if that feels weird, you can always just do regular bicep curls if you want. We're just getting a little diagonal. Mix it up for the muscles. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knees to drop them down. We got four uppers and then four knees. Four, three, two. You can go high impact with the knees or you can keep it low. Ready, here we go. Uppers, four, three, two. Knees, four, three, two. Uppers, or knees. Yes, and if you want, uppers, uppers, two, one. That's your highest option. Here we go. Uppers, three, two, one. Or keep it here. Four, three, two. Knees. Four, three, two. One more. Four, three, two. Knees. Yes. Relax. Good. Upper body superset done. One more. All right, it's a double. We got side plank, guys. All right, so I want you to watch me. We're gonna lift up on the hand if we can. So you can be here. Drop it down, or we're gonna go here, knee, and down. Join me in one side, here we go. Take it up, take it down, or all the way up, bottom knee, take it out, take it down. It's a tough one, so if that feels weird at all, you can just keep the knee out of it and just go down and up. We're getting a little bit of triceps right, a little bit of shoulders, knee, and down, take it up. And bring, and down, yes. Up, and in. Last one. Good, and relax. Swing those legs around to the other side. It's two sides, so we get a little bit of a breather. Again, if you don't feel balanced bringing that knee up, you can just stay either on the knee or still come all the way up to here and just drop it down in between. Zip up in that core, use that upper body, use the core. Here we go. Up, knee, and down, or take it up and just drop it down. Or again, all of that can be done with the knee down. 
and down, right? A lot of brain work here, right? You gotta stay stable. Usually we do that top knee. Now we're bringing that bottom one in. So it's a little bit different. Again, you might need to shift where that hand is. Up, in, and down, up, and relax, good. Ooh. All right, guys, breathe. Let's take it to a high plank again. Modification, you're gonna take one knee back and one knee back. You're just going here. Otherwise, pop it up. I'm bringing both knees to one side and back here. Join me, here we go. So another modification is just to walk it in, walk it back, walk it in, walk it back. But if we wanna get more conditioning and it feels okay for you, you're gonna do that little jump. Breathe, keep it going. I know it's tough guys, this is your last move. Then we get a longer breather, okay? So push through, walk it to the side knee, or jump it, or just tap it back. Either one, you got 10 seconds. Push through, here we go. And back. Notice you don't have to go super fast. Last one. Yes. Relax, stretch, ha. Grab a sip of water, guys. Right? Whew. I'm speechless, right? Ha, my heart rate is up. All right, guys, you got one minute to breathe. Again, you can just take a real breather, tap it out, or if you wanna take it upper, 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 knees, up to you. Keep moving or don't, doesn't matter. Just be here with me, watch me. We're down to, whoo, what do we got? Yes, all right, I'm gonna go a little lighter, guys. So we're gonna do a press and a lunge. So now we're into compounds. So that heart rate's gonna stay up, right? So you're gonna press and lunge. You don't have to go that low. You can do a tap back too. If you want and you feel comfortable, this is a more advanced move, so only if you feel comfortable, you can make it a little bit of a push press and lunge. Push press and lunge. If you've never done that before, that's not comfortable for you, I want you just to stick with a press and lunge. You gotta really protect that back, make sure you're not leaning into it, but that is an option. All right, zip up that core. Ready, here we go. Press, lunge, and down. Press, lunge, or if you want, push, press, and lunge. Push, press, and lunge. Another option, guys, is one dumbbell between the two, either here, push it up, or you can still do that push press here. Right, 10 seconds, make it good. Whatever you got. We got a good conditioning coming. You're like, what are we talking about? This is conditioning. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, out of the way. So two options, conditioning. Reach it down, squat it down, do a hinge and a squat, or inchworm it out, pop it up, switch it. Here we go. So inchworm it out, pop it up, turn. Inchworm it out, pop it up. If you can, I want you to stay low the whole time. Again, if you need to modify and you can't go down to that inchworm, just think hinge, get that stretch, and then nice, good squat. Hinge and squat. You can even take that squat to a squat jump, or <clears throat> you can keep it there. Here we go. 10 seconds. In, swerve it out. Yes, last one. Relax. I know, that was upper and lower, upper and lower. All right, guys, let's take it down to the mat. All right, so you got your weights down on your side and your back. We're just gonna do a basic chest press into triceps. Watch me once, here, turn them in, triceps. Join me, here we go. Up, if you need to modify, if you're one of my pregnant mamas, if you wanna add a bridge, that takes a little pressure off, 
or anybody else who wants to add a bridge, totally fine. If that weight feels like too much, you can always have one dumbbell between the two where you go up, take it down, and here, take it up and down. Yes, breathe. Good. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. All right, stay right down where you are. Wait out of the way. So modification, pre, post, DR, and anybody else who needs it. We're just going to do a reach to get the stretch, but you're not lifting up. Everybody else, if you can, we're gonna start here. Reach, center. Reach, center. Join me if you haven't already. Reach. Try to get that opposite leg lower if you can. Here's another option, guys, if you wanna keep more of that core burn. Start with both legs down and only come up on the reach, right? So, little tougher, right? Legs stay down but lifted. You could even be at like a 45 degree angle. And then here, or keep them both up top. Lower as you reach. Yes, good. Either one, keep everything pulled in. Check in with that core. Pull in, don't push out. Three, two, one relax Woo. awesome guys all right bring it up we got a little skater because we love it right so core and cardio if it's appropriate for you i want you to really twist with it twist with it otherwise just keep your regular skater core core is working either way here we go so twist and twist and twist yes right and twist. Good. Keep it going. Twist and twist. Core is in tight. You decide how much you want to twist. Whatever is good for you. Can you get a little quicker for these last five? Four. Three. Two. Breathe. Ha. Ah. Catch your breath, team. Whoo! How are we doing? <laughs> Top right, but you got it. Catch your breath. All right, one minute to breathe. Last circuit, guys. All right, you got this. If you want to keep it moving, you can keep with that skater that we just did. It's already in your brain. If you want to take a real break, take a real break. Watch me. Heavy weights. All right. Compound movement again, because you can do it. Toes out. We're going down. We're going wide row. We're coming all the way up. So it's sort of a cross between a plie and a deadlift, and then that wide row, right? And then our conditioning is going to be that skier swing. We're here and here right and then we're going to go into a curl and a press we'll get one last boxing round and then we got some core all right stick with me you got this grab those weights toes out deep plie drop your chest here we go down wide row and up if you've got a kettlebell just alternate your sides one side then the other you would just do one wide row switch your hands and then one wide so watch my chest and back i'm keeping it nice and flat even though i'm going down all the way up yes and up good 10 seconds stick with me strength compound so first two rounds last one right here and relax hang on to those weights First two rounds, we did more isolations. Second two, more compound. But you got it. So zip up in that core. If you would rather, you can have one dumbbell in the center for a swing. If you're not comfortable with a swing or you've never done it before, I want you just to keep a hinge, a deadlift. Otherwise, let's swing it. Skier or center. Zip up that core. Power it back. Three, two, one. 
Yes, good. Breathe. Keep it going. Drive those hips back. Drop your chest. Weights are coming chest level to eye level, not any higher. Yes. Squeeze. Last four. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Pedal your feet. Whoo. And breathe. Yes. All right, guys. So curl, press one side and then the other. If you want to put them together, you can. Otherwise, let's use this to get our heart rate down. Catch your breath. Here we go. Up, up, down, and down. Up, up. Right? Yes. Here we go. If you want that challenge, you can bring one opposite knee up for a little bit of balance for core. <sighs> That's hard, right? But you can do it. Or you can not do it. That's okay, too. <sighs> Last 10 seconds. If you want to burn them out, put them together. <sighs> yes. Dig it up. <sighs> one more. <sighs> and relax. Bend those knees. <sighs> Drop them down, stretch it back, ha. All right, guys, so our last little boxing, watch me, hook for four, two side knees. Whatever that means for you does not have to look perfect. Here we go. Hook, 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 side knee, ah, side knee, hook it. See, doesn't have to be perfect. If you wanna speed up those hooks, Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Side knee. Side knee. If you're working out with friends or family, make sure you don't kick them. Give yourself that space. One more. Four, three, two, one. Hup. Yes. Relax. Oh. All right, guys. Let's take it down. Last one here for core, all right? So we're here. Breathe. Let's come. <laughs> My ponytail whips me hard in the eye, Brittany. I can relate. All right, let's take it. You're either here with a little reach. This is your modification. Keep those knees down. Otherwise, we're going up, out, in. Keep it up. You can come down in between if you need to. Otherwise, you can just reach bird dog from the elbows being down, right? Here to here. Otherwise, walk it back or jump it back. So you'll notice what happens is as you jump in, you have to lift, right? Because we're on those elbows. So it's a little bit of a pike in the center. So keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Whew. All right, guys, bring it up, okay? So, a little bit of a side lunge, except we're reaching out instead of stepping out. We're just taking the leg out, all right? Quick ones if you got it, low impact if you've got it, finish strong, here we go. Yes, you got it, low impact is just here, get those legs working, we're also getting that little twist in the core, right? If you can, keep it going here. Yes. You can make it a little higher and just here to here or get a little lower in those legs, right? 10 seconds. Finish it out strong. End of this circuit. Five, four, three, two, breathe. <laughs> Grab some water. <laughs> All right, guys. So. How about one more swing? Cause we got it. One last push for those legs, those glutes, those hamstrings, heavy dumbbells. If you got them, or you can switch to a kettlebell one in between two to the side, catch your breath. Swings are strength and conditioning. I would say a lot of exercises are most of what we do here, right? 
Zip up in that core. Roll those shoulders back. Here we go. Prep it. Three, two, one. And up. Breathe. Even though you're getting that power, concentrate on not rushing on the way down. You're just letting it drop, right? Zip it up, lock it out all at the top, like you're coming straight up and down, not arching your back. Good, up. Yes. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Ah, good, pedal those feet. Breathe. How about a bonus move, guys? You can do it. Put those weights to the side. Don't worry about your weights. All right. You know with bonus moves, I want your brains to work a little bit too. This can look like whatever you want it to. I'm gonna give you a standing option too. If you can, fingertips here. We're gonna push up for two. You're gonna walk it over. You're gonna go down for two. You're gonna walk it back. If that feels like too much, you can just pick one on the ground or we can just do knees across standing. You pick whatever you need. We got one last minute of bonus. I know normally we keep it a lot of lower body. We're gonna keep it upper body and core this time, all right? So two pushes, triceps, two plank press. You got this team. Here we go. Take it up, bend the elbows for two, walk it over, down, down, Walk it back, here we go. Down for two, use those hips. Walk it over, down for two. And of course, you can drop to the knees if you need to on that plank press. Up for two, this is totally fine too. Down, down, up, up. Take it over, down for two. Walk it over. One more, here we go, ah! down for two, take it over, down, down, up, up, good, and relax, I know, I even surprise myself sometimes with those bonus moves, stretch it back, I just thought we always involve a pop-up, or a burpee, or a squat, why not just keep it a lot of upper body and core, right? <sighs> My arms are burning. I don't know about yours. Take them center, guys. <sighs> Let's stay here. <sighs> Over to the side. <sighs> right? <sighs> and other side. How do you feel? Hopefully good. Roll through those wrists since we just worked them. A lot on that, right? I know that went quick. Hopefully, like Tabata, it also went quick, right? We moved really fast through those intervals. And we got done quickly, right? No repeat. Love a good no repeat. Other side. Ah. Tammy says, I'm ugly breathing right now. <laughs> me too. Did you hear me? Lainey, oh lordy. Good. Must have been a good workout. <laughs> Take it across. Roll through that wrist again. Whoo. <laughs> Brittany is dead. Yes. Awesome. Good. Let's take it to that other side. Roll it through. Whoo. Angie, that was tough. And my toddler wanted to be right, right next to me. I can relate. All right, guys, turn your knees this way. If this is comfortable for you, turn into a pigeon stretch. If not, you can sit either on the floor or on a chair, cross it over here, <sighs> right? Get that good hip stretch. <sighs> so next Saturday, we'll probably do the kettlebell version of this. We'll do kettlebell strength and conditioning. <sighs> so if you, Hi, thank you. <laughs> take it here, take it other side. You can just set it down right there. Thank you, thank you. Getting my laptop. Whoo. 
Hi, Dory. <laughs> Here's my other production assistant. Come here, come here. <laughs> Take your knees out. Dory is, is okay. our family as well. Whoo. Yay, awesome. Good, Kayla, I'm so glad you like it. And Sarah, oh, I'm glad you like the move at the end. Guys, you know I never know. Sometimes they're just in my head and I'm like, this is gonna be great. And then I'm doing it and I'm like, why did I pick that? Um, I was a little worried about the switching, but I think, again, it confuses your brain just, as, just enough that you're not thinking about it being tough. And then you're getting a lot of that core work, right? Ha! Stretch it back. Let's go ahead and roll back onto our feet. Thanks, Conster. Yay, Tamika is here. Stretch it back. Whew. Roll back onto your feet. Come up halfway. You can get a little pedal of those feet. If you guys want to hang out for a minute, I'm going to grab my computer. I'll take some questions. Slowly roll it up. <sighs> Yay, awesome. <laughs> Body Fit Squad, yes. Oh, I like the lateral mountain climbers. Good, Wendy, I'm so glad. I like those too, those are new. Um, just, you know, trying to find some ways to put a spin on something we know and love, right? Thanks, Simone, thanks for being here. Whew, stretch into that hamstring. Ah, take it out. <laughs> Stephanie says, her daughter and her friend came and said, I'm glad I'm a kid. Yay, Lindsay, you did the bonus move, of course. Stretch it forward. All right, guys, walk it in, round it up. One big deep breath in and out. All right, grab water if you need it. I'm gonna grab my computer, and if anybody has any other questions. Oh, Mary Ellen is here. So many people from my Body Fit Athletic Club. You guys, if you are looking for a place to be to get extra support and accountability, <laughs> Kurt says, twist, twist, move was not working for my body. That's okay, baby, that's all right. That's my husband, guys. <laughs> I don't just call everybody baby. Um, <laughs> so let's see. Sarah says, I've been following you since before you were pregnant with Kai and I've loved these workouts but the live ones are the highlight workout I'm in week. Oh, that makes me so happy, me too. You guys, this has just been so fun um, because you know, over the last year, a lot of us haven't been able to connect with people, whether that's in a fitness class or getting outside with friends. And so this has been really fun to connect with you guys in this way. Sarah, I missed the live a few workouts. You missed the last few live workouts. You're glad you can make this one. Yeah, me too. Yay, good, Teresa, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> Charlotte, I have no idea how you did those lower leg lifts in the side planks, me either. It is a tough one. Uh, Tammy, can you explain the format for pop-ups and the muscle it works? Yes. So, Amy, what do you think of EMOM, every minute on the minute workouts? Would you do any videos? Yeah, so I'm going to have a few of those. So, guys, there's a couple things that are super trendy in um, the workout world, in the CrossFit world, in a lot of classes, and that's EMOM, every minute on the minute, and AMRAP as many rounds as possible. So when you hear those terms, so they are really fun. Um, the, uh, the hard thing is that a lot of times, this is why I don't do a ton of them. Um, I've done them in some live stuff and yeah, maybe I'll do some videos if there's some interest, but my worry is that it encourages bad form. So when you tell somebody as many rounds as possible, what does that mean? Does that mean that you're, planks or that your squats are going to look like this because you're just trying to get as many in or are you still going to be here to here but still picking up your pace so there are a lot of formats that it works for um every minute on the minute is is the same thing uh or it's it, it's different in the sense that you have a round that you get through and if you get through it in 40 seconds you have a 20 second break if you get through it in 55 seconds, you have a five second break. So it does also encourage you to go faster. So again, that, those are a little bit of my concerns. When I'm doing workouts like this with a big group of people out in the internet world, I just don't want people to rush and have bad form. But you guys all have good form and I know you would listen to me. So I will start putting, so maybe I'll put some um, quick hits for that. So Melanie, I had to slow down with those side planks and knee crunches. 
It's really three moves in one. Yeah, it is a tough one, guys. And there, it was hard for me too. So again, a lot of that is flexibility, that shoulder mobility and stability. So there was one side that was harder for me. If it doesn't work for you, that's why I always give you options. It does not mean that you're missing out on the move. Stephanie needs to upgrade your 12 pounds. Yes, you are so strong. I love it. Vivian is a sweaty mess over here. <laughs> so Kurt had to travel for um, to help out a family member. So he's actually with Vivian, who's our body fit dietitian. So they're working out together. I love it. So two thirds of our body fit by Amy team are working out together. Uh, not here though. So um, Jane says, if you worked out regularly before pregnancy, do you need the prenatal modification during your first trimester? During your first trimester, not really. The biggest thing I would say is the listen to your body um, and be aware of cardiac output. So again, what happens in pregnancy, the reason that we tell you to use that talk test, like make sure you're working at a, at a level that you can um, carry on a conversation is because our cardiac output increases, which is kind of amazing. Like our body is pumping more blood and oxygen, but because of that, we wanna make sure our heart rate doesn't get up super high. But generally speaking, because if you think about it, a lot of people are working out for weeks before they even know they're pregnant. Um, generally speaking, first trimester, if you feel comfortable doing what you have been doing, it's totally fine. Most of the modifications, especially when it comes to core work, um, come in the second and third trimester. I would just listen to how you feel. And if you feel like you're breathing so hard that you can't talk, then you wanna take it down a little bit. Um, yay, all right, so Tammy, real quick, I'm gonna answer your pop-up question. So the pop-up, guys, lots of ways to do it this is kind of what we're looking at or when we walk it in here so it's a lot of different things it's a squat motion right so we feel our legs burning so at the heart of it it is a lower body move we get quads we get hamstrings we get glutes i always encourage you to keep your heels down because we tend to be here a little bit which i know again is sometimes that's flexibility in the front of our legs especially if you were a runner or um there are lots of reasons for that, but really work hard to sit back into your heels so you can get more of those hamstrings and glutes. And then the other thing that it is is a flexibility thing because we can do our squats all day long and be here, but when we have to pop up on the outside here, we end up getting a little bit of a hip opener, right? So it's flexibility, it's mobility. At the heart of it, it's really just a squat. So you can always modify with a squat. And then coming, you know, usually we're coming into or out of the plank. So then that way we're getting core to legs, we're staying low. So it's just a variation on a squat to get a lot of extra things, mobility, flexibility, cardio, and core, right? All right, Natalie, a great way to start the weekend. Yay, I'm so glad you're back too. Justina, I'm in good shape. I know my body is strong, but my muscles are not defined. I've been using heavier weights, but that hasn't changed anything. Any tips to get those tone visible muscles? Ooh, that's a tough one. So there's a lot of factors, um, hormonal factors, uh, what you're eating, your sodium intake, um, what, uh, what actually you're doing. Are you getting full range of motion? Yeah, you should be going heavier. That's definitely, that definitely would be um, a tip I would give you, but are you checking your form, making sure you're getting full range of motion? Um, age, you know, again, hormones, whether that's like, prenatal, postnatal, or you're a year or so out from having a baby or menopause or things like that. There's a lot of factors. I will say this is the type of stuff that we talk about over in the Body Fit Athletic Club. You guys, there's a link in the description if you wanna join us because Vivian, who is our Body Fit Dietitian, she and I do live Q and A's where you can ask us questions. We're in the group giving you advice. And then a lot of people are posting a question that might be something that you relate to. And then we're coming in, other people are saying what worked for them. We're coming in giving our professional opinion. This month is April Absolution, so we've been talking all about core. So this week, Vivian discussed inflammation in your foods and does that have a, a connection to belly fat? Um, I talked about can you actually target belly fat? Uh, I talked about the stress connection. So all of that to say, the I can answer these questions quick here, but if you want more in-depth conversation with me, with Vivian, our dietitian, and with other people, other body fitters who have, probably have a lot of the same questions, join us over there. Let's see. Oh, Mary Ellen, I started working out at 60. Yes, start. Ah, I love it. Oh, because Sarah's asking, my mom and dad are both overweight and are wanting to start a workout plan, but they seemed overwhelmed. So with, yes, I would say just do it is, is the... Um, 
would be what I would say. As uh, you probably know, Sarah, I have a whole playlist of um, low impact workouts and beginner workouts. That might be a good way to start. I also on my website have a beginner's guide to fitness and it is a slow start. You start with three days a week, 10 to 15 minutes a day um, with videos that they can follow along. So that might be a good option for them as well. Um, but honestly, tell them just to get started. I think it's so, the starting point is so overwhelming, um, but to just get moving, even if it's just five minutes a day, even if it's, I also have some seated workouts, I'm gonna make some more. Um, just, just start moving your body and go from there. Let's see, what did I miss? Ah, Haslin, when will you and Jack get together again? We just talked about that, guys, um, about bringing in my special guests again. One, because I'm putting out a lot of workouts and it would be helpful if I had people to help <laughs> conserve my energy because I'm filming a lot these days for you guys. But yes, once we are all vaccinated, once it feels a little safer to be in a small space um, with people, we are, I will definitely be bringing them, hopefully David and Jeannie, again, uh, for a workout as well. It, I, as you guys know, it's super fun for me to have friends working out with me, but if you've ever done any of the videos with Jacqueline, who's super hardcore, um, or David and Jeannie, who are best friends and a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna bring in more guests because that is a good time for me and for you guys. So it's coming. Don't worry. Thanks, Thomas, for joining. Thanks, Amy. Um, what else did I miss? Awesome, guys. Uh, uh, Emily and Ryan, yes, because you guys just did like a bunch of yard work, right? Ooh, good. All right, guys. Whew. Um, yes. Yes, Dawn, so I think you got an answer from some of my body fit athletic clubbers, but um, that yes, we have, uh, you, everything is archived. So I say live Q and A's because I want you to know you, if, if we mix up our times because we have people in different time zones to make sure that hopefully you can make it live, but if you can't, you can submit questions ahead of time and also it's all archived. It's all within the group, it's within a Facebook group. Um, so to get the most out of it, you do need to have Facebook to, uh, to access all of that. But yes, everything is archived. We have a thing called Fad versus Fact Friday. Um, so we're covering a lot of stuff and it's all in there for you to find if you join. So yay, awesome. Oh yeah, Shelly's one of our new athletic clubbers. Whoo. All right, guys. So um, yay, Marsha says she feels your core much more in the April Absolution month. Yeah, so we have a different challenge every month. Um, but guys, also, again, if you're not able to do the athletic club right now, as you know, make sure that you're on my um, email mailing list because I do uh, a, the workout calendar every month, which gives you um, the workout to follow. Kurt also has recently made a playlist. It's at the top of my homepage. Um, on the YouTube homepage where you can see the workout of the day there as well. But the best way is the clickable calendar. So, um, all right guys, so thank you for joining. Um, yay, yes, Lainey, I'm so glad you're here. And Charlotte, and you're, see, Charlotte, it's her Saturday evening routine because she's all the way on the other side across the ocean and, and it's my morning routine, so I love that. Yay, thanks Amanda for being here. Yay, awesome. All right, guys, so have a great weekend. We will be here next Saturday. As always, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, not only does that help me out, helps me be able to keep making completely free workouts for you guys, um, but then also you can turn on those notifications and you'll know if I'm having a live. Like last week I was out of town, so we didn't have one, but I did a new, I did a workout that got released just for you that day. Um, so make sure you subscribe and you turn on the notifications so you know when something new is coming up. And again, make sure you're on my email list. You'll know what workouts are coming. And join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club if you can. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great weekend. Um, yes. Oh, yay, Sarah, also in our club. Her workouts are, she says, I shared my workouts with my fellow firefighters. Yay. Ah, uh, yes, Sarah's out there saving the world and then also getting fit with us. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off here. I got to sign myself off, but <laughs> thank you for joining. I will see you this week. I will be live on the Boflex YouTube channel at 8 a.m. on Monday, and then we have new workouts, three new workouts coming out next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for joining.